after all that late night walking um, we woke up quite late so we could have to do an afternoon walking tour and also after all that excitement of moving into a nice looking place the bed was um, absolutely crap I've never had a bed this bad in any place that I've stayed in it makes me wish I'd booked a chain hotel like Ibis that you're guaranteed a good bed on it. In any case, um, let's go out to um, Madrid and um, go for a walking tour and look at other sites. <laughs> The Royal Theatre occupies the whole block. We saw it as soon as we came out of the underground station, the metro. And it goes all the way around to this bed. The entrance. There's two entrances, one on this side and one on the other side of the block. looks massive from outside. Our plan was to look at it within and go get through it in a couple of hours but I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. to the palace that we saw and we saw the long queue people trying to get in we decided to go into the cathedral um, the cathedral is massive inside and is beautiful and you could spend a whole day exploring it but we got to go to our walking tour the queue hasn't shortened since we were here earlier oops yesterday didn't agree with me so I had to come back into the hotel to have a little rest oh the joys of traveling after a bit of rest, rest and making some vegetable soup I bought a, I bought a pack of um, dried vegetable would look like a dried vegetable to make a bit of soup and put some bread so cook that up um, it was okay wasn't anything special, but um, best to eat something light after a stomach upset. I'm feeling a little bit better now, so we're gonna head out, go see, hopefully go see the Segovia Bridge. We've bought this five-day pass, so we can 
go in and out, tap in and out as many times as we want. So which has been very useful since taxis here are quite expensive. And while we were out I have changed the whole bed, put a new bed in. So hopefully I'll get a better night's sleep tonight. We came looking for the river in Madrid because um, any major city from long time ago would have a river to survive. But, um, but looks like um, they have blocked off the river. There isn't much left to it. There is a park built over it. In the photos that I that I saw, there when investigating this place, there is a fountain, which is true, but it's not running unfortunately right now. This built bridge was built in the 1500s, 1580s, something like that. I think they've tried to preserve a little bit of water from the river from years gone by, but now there is only a trickle. Potential. There's potential for a river. There's no river cruises. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a boat either. Well, you could kayak. Yeah. Yeah. You could kayak. You could paddle. But they've made a nice park next to the river. Or what used to be the river. The banks of the river look like if you are in a desert or something. We took um, bus number three all the way from our apartment, we took, which took a long way, but um, yeah, we like... 33. That's 33. But we like um, taking a bus through the city and seeing the uh, real city and how people live. But um, we went through the city center and then came out the other side. This isn't something that everybody talks about, so it's quite enough out of the tourist trail. So we like doing that kind of things as well, going and seeing things which aren't normally on the tourist trail. I got to know who's lived in Madrid, so they go to the top floor of this building, Corte Angles, and then you can see the view of all of Madrid. <laughs> you can't walk any length of time without stopping and taking your photos, taking photos of um, the amazing architecture all over Madrid. Even outside of town where it's modern uh, buildings, they're also very um, nicely designed and architectural design. So everywhere is beautiful. En route to going to the market, we we'll pass this Plaza Mayor. It's very famous as well. All sides have the same color, apart from one wall, which has got lots of paintings. Entertainers all over Madrid. After two trains and a lot of walking, we made it to Mercado de San Miguel. Let's go look inside if it lives up to the hype or not. The market is full of food and, um, and drink stalls, so we bought some tapas to try out. 
Um, this one was one euro fifty, and the rest were one euro each. Um, I could see one lady who bought some and then went back in the queue, and I'm not surprised that she did that because um, they are absolutely amazing, be tasty. Tickets for Friday, but we thought we'd try our luck, and they accepted to change our tickets for today. Day, especially towards the end at the Flamingo Show, could um, see the um, passion and intensity and love for um, love for the dance and the professionalism. It was just quite amazing. We'll go to Toledo tomorrow. Um, see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>